Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, baby, to Orchids for Dummies. This is Foul Pal Darrell, and in today's video, I will be transferring my new Phalaenopsis orchids in bloom to water culture. Some of you have already seen me do this before, but in this video, I just wanted to share a couple of care tips to make your blooms last even longer. Stay tuned. So I have already soaked the media, which is going to be that sphagnum moss. Okay, and it actually is good looking sphagnum moss, good looking roots. Like I said, they have really stepped up their game. This is one of the healthiest orchids I've purchased all year long. $7.99. Okay, if you did not know, I am the Phalaenopsis King. I'm the Phalaenopsis King, honey. And I am just in love with miniature Phalaenopsis living here in a small apartment. I'm able to collect so many of them. Okay, I'm able to collect so many because they are so small. I also wanted you guys just to know, in case you're new to this channel, please subscribe, okay? Ring the bell so you will be notified when I post a video. I'm here for new beginners. I want you to... I want you guys to know what I know because if I'm able to grow Phalaenopsis orchids, you guys should be able to as well, okay? I have only been growing two years now. Immediately when I started growing orchids, I picked up a camera and just started documenting everything and watching what I was doing with my orchids, okay? And I can see a lot of mistakes that I've made in the past. And I just don't want you guys to make that as well. So one of the main key factors to make the blooms last on your Phalaenopsis orchid is to give it time to acclimate to your living environment. Meaning when you bring it home, it has already been stressed due to through the transportation it has already gone through. So um, when you get it home, put it in a nice location. It does not have, have to have the brightest of sunlight, but make sure that it is at least receiving low light, okay? If you don't know the types of light that orchids require, I will leave a video link above, okay, darling? So now I have removed all of the media I am now going to let her soak into some rainwater just to remove um, whatever extra media I can. And while I am doing that, I will get the second orchid and go ahead and remove the media. So you definitely have to stay tuned. So I really appreciate being able to, you know, step away from the camera every now and then and spending that quality time with my family. And I really just am grateful that my Foul Pal group on Facebook is not a group centered around me. That we are all brothers and sisters that look out for each other. So if I am not available, Foul Pal Danielle from Danielle's Orchid Journey, she is there. She is there to help you along with so many other incredible new beginners and also some experts, okay? So check into Facebook group, Fail Pal. You really wanna check into it, okay? Make sure to answer those questions before submitting, okay, your application to join because we are a private group, okay? A no judgment zone, so we are very specific to whom we let in the group. We really are, so make sure to answer those questions, okay? But um, I hope that you guys are able to see the roots. I am sorry. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, Mama is here by herself, so I, um, I mean, you know, work with me, I'll work with you, okay? So these are some really healthy roots. And um, before I have um, started to remove their, remove them from their media and transitioning them to water culture, they have already been in my care for um, three days, okay? So um, to help me 
because I wanted to repot them so bad because I was so excited and now being able to say that I've almost mastered water culture, I was just really excited to go ahead and put them in some water. I did not fertilize them. I did not water them. Um, I just let them sit in one spot, the spot that they are permanently going to be in for the last three days, okay? Now I have rinsed off the roots to the first orchid. I wanted to share with you guys one of the vases that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, okay? So it was only a dollar and um, it's really wide in width as far as the top of it, but it is small as well, so I don't have to put too much water. But I have definitely learned that the Phalaenopsis orchids, they prefer for their roots to hang. Because the less stress that you cause the orchid, the better um, you better chances you would have to get that orchid to rebloom for you, okay? So the less stress, the better. Let me add the water. I will show you the finished product for them both. Stay tuned. Welcome back, foul pals. It's because of viewers like you that I strive to give the most accurate and best information that I am able to give being a new grower just as you. I believe each one teach one. I believe that the information be, should be free and that we should focus on all of the love and all of the things that orchids do to bring all different types of people together. So that is why I call myself the People's Channel because I love all different types of people just as I love all different types of orchids. So darling, this is going to be the cheapest, okay, most um, quickest setup that you can do. This water is um, fish aquarium water, okay. I have had really good success using the water from my new purchased aquarium. I really have, so I will keep you guys updated on these beautiful orchids, but you definitely have to stay tuned. I will also show you some of the blooms that I still have in my home and let you know how long they have been here. Some have been here since Mother's Day and they are in water culture as well. So that is going to be a video to come showing you the differences that I, I have noticed with putting a new Phalaenopsis orchid in bark versus putting it in water culture. Here on Orchids for Dummies, I always tell you guys that the proof is going to be in the pudding. So stay tuned, Foul Pals, in order for you to get your orchids to rebloom, you don't have to have this lighting, okay? What you need is to be able to, a place for your orchid to put it, okay, where it is going to get everything that it needs, meaning good air circulation. Some of you want to know, can you smoke around your orchids? Yes, I have already done that video. You can smoke around your orchids. You don't wanna have a room that is too toxic, so definitely have an open window or um, make sure that you do what you need to do to air that room out when done. Now, this is a Phalaenopsis orchid that is fragrant. It's also a mini that I purchased for Father's Day. And as you can see, well, not Father's Day. I don't know, I can't remember, but um, you guys, I will leave a video link, okay, in the description box below. But um, she was definitely featured on my lookout video. This is something that I was on the lookout for. And as you can see, she is definitely reblooming for me, okay? This orchid I have had for um, at least a month as well. The blooms are slowly fading, okay? Slowly fading. So I would definitely let you guys see how long these last. Stay tuned. This is definitely a mini fragrant Phalaenopsis orchid that you have seen in the past several videos of mine. I purchased it or it was given to me on Mother's Day and she has lost a few blooms, maybe three or four, but she is definitely holding on to all of her blooms. Now, this is also the Phalaenopsis orchid that I had in water culture inside of that sponge. Her roots, a lot of her roots were already rotted and um, I need to clean that up, okay? That will be a future video that you want to stay tuned. 
but I am going to leave her in here. I'm going to leave the flowers up and I am definitely going to be on the lookout for new root production as she is not losing leaves, okay? Leaves are very firm, doing just fine. So, Foul Pals, if you have any questions regarding the blooms in your home, how to make them last, if you think that you are doing something incorrect, let me know in the comment box below, okay? Each one, teach one. That is what it's all about, the name of the game. I thank you guys so much for staying tuned and supporting this channel. I love you guys. Until next time.